What's up, everybody? It's Wabacha, and I want to give you my day two, day three update recap of my trickster in the Necropolis League in Path of Exile. So I did start his Lightning Trap. I have since moved to Explosive, explosive Trap of Shrapnel. Uh, Lightning Trap really started to fall off in the damage, like around like tier seven, like like in my early eighties. Uh, I even got myself a six link. I even picked up some pieces that should have that well you'd think would uh would allow it to kind of push further you probably could maybe a different ascendancy will do it um but yeah it, it was it was pretty rough um for a little bit and that kind of like stalled my progression quite a bit and i haven't been playing as much as i wanted and then something interesting happened one i got uh my explosive trap of shrapnel in a uber lab um, I kind of lucked out, to be honest. Kind of hard to explain, but suffice to say, I lucked out because I wasn't paying attention, but I was able to grab one. And I had already been leveling Explosive Trap. So it was a level 19 Explosive Trap of Shrapnel just in my offhand. And as I'm playing, still Lightning Trap, mind you, I uh, I accidentally make an Expedition Pack immune to Lightning Damage. I'm like, oh, you know what? Whatever. It's a lower tier map. I think it was a tier 5 or tier 6. I'll just throw in my explosive trap in my links right now. Essentially, I had a four link explosive trap with the wrong what like setup for it. Some of the wrong passives and some of the wrong gear. I had plus one lightning uh, spells. I had a couple passive nodes on or passives on the tree that you know didn't affect at all. But it was it was a not proper explosive trap and it performed better in that state than lightning trap did and one i played a lot of explosive trap before and i like it and it felt really good in fact explosive trap of shrapnel feels much like uh explosive trap did way back when uh when i first started playing it around like patch 3.5 maybe even 3.4 i played it a long time ago um so you know, just the fact that it was already performing better. Uh, just, I was like, okay, I'm just going to switch now. Because there's no reason to really make myself struggle uh, with that. As for why Lightning Trap was kind of falling off, like Explosive Trap honestly does better when it comes to clear than Lightning Trap. Which is kind of funny to think about because Lightning Trap is a projectile type of uh, skill. But it only it needs some inherent pierce, in my opinion, because like you could only get like you could only get somewhere between like three and six projectile uh, pierces out of it. And it kind of created the situation where I had to run with cluster trap in a six link because I didn't have enough projectiles. And a lot of times on bigger packs on uh, on like the higher level maps, especially if there were like any mods on them. Like sometimes I would throw a lightning trap into the middle of a pack and it just wouldn't go anywhere. It would just kind of stay there and just get eaten up by the, 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 uh, the pack that was right there and just, it wouldn't go out on the map. So explosive trap actually kind of has a better clear. Well, maybe it's explosive trap of shrapnel, but either way, explosive trap of shrapnel has a better clear than a projectile skill because of it not having any inherent uh, pierce. If it did have inherent pierce, it would probably be better. Uh, but that's besides the other the, the other facts of the matter that its single target is pretty garbage. And Lightning Spire doesn't really help it that much. And I definitely try to use those and I tried to play it like appropriately and it just wasn't really working. And like I said, it just... It became so obvious right away when I threw an explosive trap of shrapnel that it was just a much more efficient way to play. Obviously, everyone knew that. I knew that even, but, you know, you kind of got to still play things out a little bit just for your own sanity. But with that said, I did move to explosive trap. I picked up a tinker skin because tinker skin is amazing. And I, you know, I had some weapons lying around that were pretty good. And then, you know, shield, fix some other things. 
I did run into a mana issue when I went from a six link lightning trap to a five link explosive trap. Mm, I'm assuming just be largely because there's probably a bigger mana cost on explosive trap on the base. And then also I was using more expensive uh, support gems, like critical damage supports a pretty hefty mana multiplier. So I got that resolved, um, fixed my passive tree. You know, again, my passive tree is like pretty normal. Uh, I got my, uh, my last ascendancy. I did this before I switched, but you know, I went polymath. Um, there might be a world where I go swift killer over polymath that will be later on though and i'll be able to expand on that a little bit more but there are some reasons but the plan for me right now is one i need to get an alternate scepter and that's going to be like kind of on my to-do list and the next thing is going to be getting architect's hands or slave driver's hands whichever one i would actually really prefer slave driver's hands because that would solve all the mana issues and then to six link my tinker skin or a tinker skin. And I likely will be running explosive trap with that setup with a uh, cluster trap. A couple reasons for this one. I like that play style quite a bit and I really, I really enjoyed it. It was very, very good back in the day. Very underrated. Like it was one of the low key builds. Now a lot of people, I understand, they're playing it with Sunblast, but there's something about Sunblast I don't like, okay? Well, other than the delay, but I have checked, and as far as I'm aware, I, I could be wrong on this, but I'll, I'll keep this brief just in case I am, but Sunblast is bugged. Um, some, you should not be generating power charges or friendly charges with Sunblast because, again, unless you're using the boots that give you the charges. I forget what they're called. I don't think people are though. Check a PoE Ninja, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. But the way Charge Traps reads, which I love the support gem, Charge Traps. I've been raving about it for a long time, okay? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets a nerf in the next few patches due to, due to how popular uh, it's becoming or has become. It reads that you get charges if you uh, if your traps are triggered by an enemy. All the passives on the tree read the same exact way. So, in my opinion, not in my opinion, to me that just says Sunblast is bugged. I kind of have some issues with this because I would love to use Sunblast. I would love to get two additional traps without the downside of Cluster Trap. But I can't, like, especially when you start using Slave Driver's Hands and you get really insane uh, throwing speed. I need my, I'll be capped. I'll be really capped with my throwing speed. Like, you, you know, um, Fearless Dumbo, I think in his recent Q&A video that he was doing about Explosive Trap, you can overthrow if you are utilizing, um, if you are using utilizing Sunblast, if you have too much throwing speed. But the whole point of Slave Driver's Hands is to have insane, insane throwing speed. And whether it's better or not, whatever, I think I think it feels better because uh, I have used Sunblast like in the past to kind of like mess around with it. I don't like the delay. And I think the delay is such an awkward thing to get used to. Um, but then on top of that, like I said, like it's bugged. Like it's like if I'm if I'm wrong about that, you know, feel free to say it in the comments down below. But you shouldn't be generating power charges or frenzy charges if you're using Sunblast. So, either way, not that I not that I really care too much about it because my real issue with Sunblast uh, is the fact that I can't use it with Slave Driver's hands because I I will get immediately capped in my throwing speed and I want a really high throwing speed. So yeah, the plan for my explosive trap build is going to be, uh, you know, get an alternating scepter because obviously that is very, very good. It's one of the things that makes explosive traps so good relative to the other traps, um, the being ice trap and lightning trap. Uh, 
Two, get myself Slaver Driver's hands. Three, get myself a Sixling Tinker skin and get it um, get it corrupted to have like plus two uh, AOE gems or you know something like that. I do have. Um, I, I am messing around with like an Atlas strategy to try to help that. At least one of them. The the, the different Atlas trees are like pretty nice. Um, so I have an at, an Alva Atlas tree. I don't know if this is the way to go about it, but I'm going to be messing around with it. And yeah, you know, we'll see if I pick up a Devouring Diadem. I don't really think I need to use. Uh, I don't think I really need to use what you want to call it. Eldritch battery, especially if I'm getting, um, especially if I'm getting slave drivers hands, I'd rather just keep the, uh, keep the ES and, you know, be full like hybrid and just reserve all my mana. So, so yeah, you know, if you, you know, if you're just catching this channel for the first time and if you want to uh, stick around and kind of see a different way to play explosive trap and see how it pans out. Go ahead, hit that uh, subscribe button. You can also check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Wabacha. And yeah, I you know I look forward to doing this. And you know I, this, and just to clarify too, this is not like any sort of contest for me. The only reason why I'm actually like really into this right now is because, funny enough, I haven't made any videos for Path of Exile for like five years. Right. Like I've made a couple the past few days, but prior to that, I didn't make anything on my YouTube channel for a very, very long time. The last time I did, it was about Explosive Trap. So it's kind of cool to see it come back around. Um, and this is largely because of Explosive Trap of Shrap Shrapnel, you know, the Transfigured Gems. But so it's making me excited to play, making me excited to get back into it. I want to start making YouTube content again. I've been making some about Helldivers. I'll continue doing that because Helldivers is an amazing game. But also, I'm also going to make stuff about Path of Exile still because it's still an amazing game and I love it still. So, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.